Total Service Survival here at Blade Share 2023 with Ross Gammon of Dry Creek Forge. We can talk about some of the products he has on the table. All right, over here we have uh, this new design. I don't really have a permanent name for it, but right now I'm calling it the Orca. And it's kind of a miniature parang. And this is eighth inch thick stock, so it's still pretty lightweight, but it's got, got some heft to it because of the convex grind down on the bottom and the taller blade. These are just butterscotch micarta scales here. And uh, I mean, this is a pretty sweet little bushcrafty package. I also got a, a brute right here. This is a model that I've been making for quite a few years. That's an A8 mod steel. It's kind of similar to 3V with a little bit more corrosion resistance and toughness with a little less edge holding on it. And, uh, this one we're moving over, it's a 5160, huge like bush sword type thing. It's a one-off uh, custom. It's got a Terra Tough handle scales on it. Yeah, it's an absolute beast. I have a feeling that took a while to grind out. Yeah, it did. It's got a uh, ferric chloride uh, acid edge finish on it with a mustard patina on top of it. That gives it that really cool, almost like camouflage finish to it. But up here we have these uh, hidden tangs. I did a, a set of three of these, one of them's already sold, but two of them were leather stacked like this. And then one of them right here is made with uh, elk antler. And these all have titanium fittings on them. Uh, it makes this one pretty lightweight because of the leather, but this one's got a little more heft to it just because of the stag is heavier. So, right, move on over here. This is a uh, same uh, type of design here. This is a uh, titanium fittings all over this one. In the back of here, we have like a half inch threaded titanium rod with the cap it's actually screwed onto here. Uh, all leather stacked handle. This is 8670M steel. I have, the clip is actually sharpened on this too. I had one of these earlier and it's already sold. Super lightweight for being such a thick knife. And now moving on, we're gonna go down to these little Pucos. These are both 3V Pucos. I've got one that's a, a standard Puko with a belly on it right here. And basically all I did was flip that design and then turn it like this and put the edge on the bottom. It gives it a, a more of like a carving knife feel to it. It really does feather sticks and things like that really easy with that angle and that straight blade like that. Um, these right here are already spoken for, but there's some cool stuff to look at. I mean, this one right here is the last one that I have available. It is in 52100, and it is the Falcon model. And it's got these nice uh, burlap micarta scales with natural pins in it. Nice jimping on the top of it. This is a really sweet little utility skinner slash EDC size blade. That's pretty much everything I got on here besides this stuff. These are uh, customer knives that I just finished. It's a CPM 154 stainless uh, chef knife. And then here is another one of my models that I grabbed Fuller in. It's actually a raffle winner. He's going to pick it up while he's at the show this weekend. But that's what I've got left. Uh, so quite a few already. Hopefully we'll get rid of the rest of these so I don't have to take any of them home. <laughs> I appreciate it. Make sure to check him out.